Understanding the Helium Premium Printer. Premium Printer aims to be a net seller of options with long tail convexity. Let's find a trade. For this ticker, Helium has two trades available, a put credit spread and a call credit spread. Let's look at the put credit spread. Since this trade is net selling options, we are looking to collect a $128 credit from the market with a maximum loss of $872 if we're filled at the mid price. The options in this trade expire in seven days and will give us a 14% return or 101% annualized. The probability of profit is our best estimate of the likelihood of making money on this trade, represented by the green in the graph below. You can think of expected value as the average over all potential future outcomes of this trade. Expected value represents the positive or negative edge we estimate in a new potential trade. Both Helium's machine learning models and the market agree that this trade has positive expected value or edge. For maximum transparency, all Helium models have transparent records of previous performance. Historically, over 33 trades, this trade averaged 9% return or 11% annualized. The red and green lines represent the terminal profit and loss of this trade in seven days based on the potential future price. The dashed orange vertical line represents the current closing price. If the price stays the same or goes up, this trade will collect our full credit of $128. If the price drops down into the area represented by red, we lose money. As you can see, this trade is profitable in both tails, the left tail and the right tail, meaning that this trade will profit from extreme upside and downside moves. The dotted blue and orange line represent the probability estimates of helium and the market on the future price in seven days. As you can see, most of the probability mass is at the center of this graph. Higher values represent a higher likelihood of occurring. This is helium's most important graph because it represents how potential futures will affect this trade's P&L as well as the respective probabilities of these events happening. Let's dive deeper into the risks of this trade. In addition to the risk of WMT expiring near the price of $145, which means that this is a loser, this trade also has sensitivity to volatility. Initially, this trade is short volatility, but as volatility expands, this trade will eventually become long volatility. In this graph, you can think of implied volatility as a magnitude of future uncertainty. Just like the previous graph, this trade benefits from tail events of either side. Trade carry, or theta, represents the effective time on this options position. This represents the profit and loss of this trade over time if nothing else happens. Without a change in price of the underlying, this trade will initially start out negative carry and switch to positive carry so we can collect our full credit by the end of the trade. Let's look at the Greeks. A delta of $15 means that this trade is initially long the underlying asset. Beta is the sensitivity to the market measured by SPY. Theta is our carry cost, which is initially negative. Gamma is the change in delta per change in spot, or acceleration. Vega is our sensitivity to implied volatility, or future uncertainty. Now let's look at the historical performance of this model. Over 33 trades, on average, this trade returned plus 9%, with an average P&L of $68. Since these trades were not made in real life, the blue middle line represents mid-price, and the top and bottom represent the best and worst potential fill cases. Helium slightly increases the ranking of models with high historical performance, but this is based on simulated trading, so don't take it too literally. Now let's look at options pricing. Helium uses machine learning to predict future options prices. Compare the blue line Helium's estimated price with the orange line, the market's current price. If Helium's model is correct, we can take advantage of this potential mispricing. Now let's look at the trade implementation. To structure this trade, we'll sell 5 149 strike puts and buy 6 147 strike puts. Even though we're buying 6 options and selling 5, the options that we're selling are more expensive, which allows this trade to receive a net credit from the market. We can also think of this trade as selling insurance from $149 down to $147. Since this trade is selling at $149, and buying at 147, we can potentially take advantage of the volatility risk premium and protect ourselves from big downside risk. Interested in diving deeper? Click the How Helium's Premium Printer Works button. Nothing in this video constitutes investment advice, performance data, or any recommendations. Helium Trades is not responsible in any way for the accuracy of any model predictions or price data. Helium Trades is for informational purposes only and not responsible for any of your investment decisions.